Hello everybody and welcome back. Joe here and Nate. Welcome back to our channel. Let's uh there's no sign out here, is there? I guess we'll just barge yeah. right on in. Pamela, are you decent? Hang on, I'm naked. <laughs> Terrific! <laughs> oh. The vision oh. speaks true. You are the heroes from my dreams. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> Our paths have not crossed. Oh yeah, you're seeing aren't you? I am. <laughs> I am your lair, son to Refnik, elder and shaman to the tribe of the bear. Oh, Nate, that's you, Travis oh, the Bear. Hey, there yeah. you go. Yeah, well, we decided to have Ziari be the speaker of the group since she's a sorceress and she's really high on charisma. <laughs> she's, so. she's high on charisma. She's just <laughs> over there puffing on her pipe like a, the true sorceress, like Gandalf does. You know, yeah. it's, it's a magic thing. So. Gandalf is always high. It's true. You saw the scene in The Hobbit when he gave Radagast the pipe and, you know, just... That way goes cross-eyed and like goes oh, yeah. out of his ears and stuff. Good stuff. Go watch The Hobbit if you haven't seen it. Um, Lord of the Rings is better. It is. Well, th it's all <laughs> one universe. Here we go. We're going to get on a topic debate. Anyway. anyway yeah. Um, about the older. Uh, let's see. Okay, he said, Honor of the Hobbit, I am the owner's son to Rethric, Elder, and Shaman to the Tribe of the Bear. Well met, Hilder. What's this business about dreams and visions? The vision is why I have come to this place. Timbas has guided me to you. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> For what purpose? This I cannot he's, say. He's gonna have his manly bearish way with you. Oh my god. of war darkens the skies of my homeland. My people are gathering in numbers greater than any have seen for generations. Uh -huh. A king, both new and old, has risen to lead the tribes against the Ten Towns. Already, the first snows of winter bear the dark stains of spilt blood. Boy, he speaks real slowly, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, he it's does. probably like the but shaman way. Yeah. Man, oh man. But I'm really excited for winter. <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> It's summer recording this now, and I'm, I'm so sick of it. I wish it was fall. Um, I don't see what any of this has to do with us. You must understand. I have read the signs. Tempas will not favor either side in the coming battles. Both my people and those of the towns shall be haunted by countless deaths without honor. Yeah, that's not my problem. I have cast my spirit into the nether realm in search of a way to prevent what must not be. My vision quest led me here to find you. You are the answer I seek. So, what exactly does this guy want? <laughs> I don't know yet. Like, he's talking about his god isn't going to favor anyone in this battle and his, his clans are about to invade some city or something. Well, he's, he, he's just... It, he's just tripping balls, having visions. Oh, see, that's what I thought. He's just talking about all these visions and stuff, so I didn't fully understand. But anyway, I see. What can we do to help? You must come to Engoro, to the great mead hall where the tribes have gathered. You alone can forestall the war between our peoples. Oh, do oh, so we we're go making now? Because we said we were going to help the townspeople here keep their sacred tree alive. I didn't get to quick save it. <laughs> <laughs> um, surely we can come back, can't we? Because I kind of want to look around. We need to rest. I mean, our characters are all wounded and we spells need refill. Maybe some maybe some other time. Farewell. Yeah, we'll come back and talk to this guy. Just, uh, later. just hang on there. This, so this is definitely not a shop. <laughs> Alright, well, where's that map? Okay, I guess let's just go this hill up here. So yeah, as you can tell, or as you can see, we got to this town, so we're just kind of looking for a tavern to rest, because we go to rest here, and it just says, oh, you can't do that. Like, yeah, still won't let us rest, so looking for a tavern real quick before oh, we set off. That looks promising. Hey. hey! 
So yeah, we did some jam in there, everybody. Some uh, buying and selling between episodes. Yeah, that way we didn't we didn't have a lot to sell. They didn't have a lot to buy. So yeah, it's very true. Man, this place is booming. Look at all yeah. this. Let's talk to the the, the let's talk to uh, Lisanne. Lisanne. Actually, no. Let's go straight to resting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk another time. It's probably for the best. Yeah. Did you want to do the voice? <laughs> Well now, <laughs> seems the past coughed up one more straggler. Welcome to the root cellar, stranger. Name's Whitcomb. What's your pleasure? A drink? Something from the kitchen? Whitcomb. Actually, I'm looking for a room for the night. I don't know why I A room? To Sorry, but I can't help you, friend. Try the evening shade across town. The innkeeper's bound to have some rooms to let, and desperate to let him, too, since the passes aren't going to see any new caravans for a while. Are you kidding me? Now we gotta go across town. <laughs> I'll be going to the evening shade then. Thank you. Well, I really need a room, but whatever, so goodbye. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she did level up, and she has eight hit points oh, now. Oh, when he oh. means across town, does he mean one of these doors? No, I think he means across <laughs> town, across town. Okay. Although, we could check those, those doors. Let's, let's check this one real quick. Heaven knows what we'll find. A tiny, tiny room with a... Is this some sort of library? I guess. Some no. busty bimbo in a hood is <laughs> standing by the fire. Oh, boy, she is busty, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can... Uh, I, is you want to young... try to make that English? <laughs> I was going to say, we can click on this bookshelf, but I'm afraid... Uh, Toby, you go oh, mess with right. Oh, okay. No, we're not going to take anything. I don't get, like, in trouble for stealing. Okay, let's just keep going. Back across town, I guess. <laughs> Off to the nightshade inn. Nightshade? Evening shade. Evening shade. Close enough. <laughs> Nightshade's poison. Oh, yeah. Speaking of poison, you probably haven't read any more of Death's Mistress, have you? I have not. Okay, never mind. Well, crap, is it up or is it down? He said across town, so I'm assuming it's Temple. across town. Okay. <laughs> Next time you take us to a show about talking... Well, that's the Veil of Shadow, so we do have to go up. Next time you take us to a show about talking fannies, it better be about talking fannies. Go up. Yeah, I think it loops around. I think. Like, up up this way. Yeah, there's another path. Y you'll, you'll see. Bear with us, everybody, again. See, it goes up. Ah. Uh, and it goes around. Because down there, that bridge will take us to the Vale of Shadows where we need to go. Is that a cow? Two cows! Wow. Does it say anything? That's a boat. Oh, that is a boat. I can't talk to the cow. Hey! There it went. <laughs> <laughs> Remember in the Bard's Tale how you could push him over? <laughs> yeah. Now, would this be... The, the tavern? There's no, a bed this there. this is a private residence. Well, oh, I see. We can exit out of Certainly. this way. No, that's a cellar, isn't it? Come on, everyone. Let's go. Hey, hey, another cow. Moo, said the cow. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing that's really cool about... Um, <laughs> I guess it's Groundbreaking just, dialogue. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Let's talk uh, to that dwarf. See what it's up with his boathouse. Should we? Let, let's. Late. I know. Let's. I'm. Ju I, I'm afraid to spoil. Uh, not spoiled. Ruin the episode of just walking around. But at least we're kind of making it somewhat entertaining. Look, a blacksmith. Hey. Maybe buy better weapons and armor. Wait a minute. Oh, this it does loop around. There's a big root in the way. Yeah. Nice. Conlon. Welcome, oh. stranger. What can I do for you? Greetings, my name is Ziari. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Who might you be? The name's Conlon. I'm the local smithy of these parts. If you're needing a sharp blade or a stout mace, I'm the man to see. Best I can manage while I'm still here. While you're still here, are you going somewhere? Aye, I suppose so. With all the skullduggery that's been going around down here, I imagine I'll not be around much longer. I see. <laughs> um. <laughs> I see. So you're planning on leaving town? <laughs> wow, that's a lot. I wish that were possible. 
The Southern Pass has long been snowed in by this damnable weather we've been having lately. Now we hear tell that even the northern route to the Ten Towns is blocked by an avalanche. Mark my words, none of us will last through this winter. We're all done for. A cheerful thought. May I see what you have for sale? And she still can't use anything. <laughs> Wait, she can use a sling. A... And a bullet. Yeah, well, you need the bullets for the sling. Right. Bracers. Wow! Holy crap! Oh my god, look at the price of that! Faith killer? That's a... Giant killer? Oh my... Lonesome road? Wow, there's some really badass weapons here and stuff. Man, oh man! I thought that said Bim Gag. <laughs> Apparently it's been a long day. It has. Well, I guess we start can sell this selling thing. stuff. Yeah, sell that. And the stack. We'll keep that one, of course. We need to identify some of these things. Yeah. I don't have that. If she levels up again and I get a point, I'll be able to... You know what? Keep that stuff. Yeah, he's got plenty... Oh, oh, zero. That means how much he'll get. Battle axe. She doesn't need that. Oh boy, here we are. Selling, selling again. Yeah, selling again. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Yeah. Wow. Wait, oh, did we need the Yeti pel bat pelts for something? I thought he said... Didn't that boy if, say, oh, you can take them to... I oh! Saying, I, I think if we take them here... Yeah, he said he'd buy them at a good price. Yeah. So that's right. Okay. It's been one, one week, week since you looked, looked at me. me. <laughs> <laughs> but, I well, it has been a week, I think, since we recorded this, and we, we couldn't remember exactly where... Yeah, we'll go ahead and just sell that. Anyway, let's go ahead and exit. Gotta find the tavern. I'm trying to... Everyone's jam-packed into the... See that big door there? Yes. Hey! It's That's the... it. Yeah. You can't just click on the door? Let's say they should navigate their way around there. Automatically. What I was gonna Ooh. well what I was gonna say, I just remembered I got off topic. I'm terrible at that. I'll go back and rewatch our episodes and it's just like, man, I never finished what I was gonna say there. <laughs> like five different times. Going back to when I was talking to the cow earlier, I was gonna say that's one really neat thing about divine divinity original sin too. <laughs> that's a mouthful. It is. <laughs> um, is that you can get a perk to where certain party members you can give them the skill to talk to animals, which is really helpful, because, like, if you're stuck in a spot, you know, talking to certain animals, they'll, like, give you clues to, like, a hidden doorway or something. Hmm. Nate. Oh! <laughs> <clears throat> you looking for a room? Or you just want to let the chill in? I got no rooms for stragglers. Show some coin or I'll show you to the door. I'm looking for a room, yes. Are any free? Yeah, we got a little space left, but I don't want to hear any haggling over the prices, you hear? This is the only inn in town, so don't even think you'll find a better deal anywhere else. Very well, then. Let's see what rooms you have. Peasant. Well, that's not bad at all. Mm, Ooh, yeah, noble. Sure. Do we want to splurge while we're all here in this beautiful town of Kaldahar? And none of the most permanent... I thought you got bonuses for sleeping in better places. Divine Divinity does that again. No, that was Pillars of Eternity. That there's did. like food options down there, is that what I'm seeing? Oh, not a quick red, a more than oh I see. Now click on Noble. Oh, I don't, I don't know that. Oh, that just goes to Peasant. I don't you know, know what? why it defaults there. Yeah, let's... Let's get crazy. Ooh, look at that fancy room. Yeah, oh, there's a still mouse. still a rat in it. You know, I think mice and rats are cute. I've been through that on... Home Sweet Home, we talked about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if, you've, if you've watched our series of Home Sweet Home. Mice, right. mice are cute and rats are not, I think, is what we decided there. I still think they're cute, but anyway... We're all rested, we're all ready to go. Let us continue forward to the Vale of Shadows. Annika finally stopped singing. Oh, hey. I didn't realize she was singing the entire time. I heard there were... <clears throat> I heard there were strangers in town, <laughs> but I didn't believe it. You from East Haven? How did you get through? I must take my leave farewell. Okay. 
We'll come back and talk to people later. I mean, maybe. Well, I. We've already got 15 minutes into the episode, and we have to oh, talk. See, if we decide that it's important to come back and talk to some of these people, we'll come back. But for right now, we're off to adventure. Adventure time! Come on, grab your friends. <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh my god, Joe's a bad singer. To prove you wrong, click on the link in the, in the video description to hear Ooh. the actual sing if you want to hear some of my music. And cover videos that I did like five years ago. I really need to get back into doing covers. Um, what a terrible, well, shameless plug that was. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, our friend Clarissa, she sings, and her and I talked about doing a cover of uh, Jar of Hearts by Christina Perry. Who Something do you think you are? Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm excited for that. I, I get, well, because I haven't done covers in so long. And plus, you know, it, it'd be fun. Veil of Shadows, here we go. The journey took eight hours. Dear God. Eight hours? Okay, we're going to go ahead and... I couldn't find it. Save... Didn't What's-His-Dink, the old man, say it was going to be... Uh, say that this was, like, right outside town? Like, oh yeah, the Veil of Shadows, there's all sorts of terrible zombies and shit that's coming up into town. Eight hours! <laughs> oh, yeah. That was quite a ways. Now, this is exactly where I stopped playing the the last time that I played this. So, this is all... I mean, it's all pretty much new to me, I because it was 07 the last time I played it. Now, see, this is, this is all new to me. I've never played this, so... All right, here we go. Start singing. All right, Ziari... Start casting. Hey, she can cast a lot more spells now. Alright. Start beating things. Start shooting things. Start stabbing. Stab. I was gonna say, start stabbing. <laughs> start healing things. Wait, no. Wait, is he. How did he get damaged? Oh, his health is just so freaking massive that. It's not by much. We'll go ahead and. Oh, man. Oh, wow, we did it. Okay, all of you, attack that Yeti. Ziari, cast that spell. She's still singing. Yeah, she's still singing. Yeah! <laughs> so I like how I just <laughs> fell right down. That was, that was beautiful. Alright, yeah, pelt. Alright. We're doing it. We're doing it. Quick save it super fast. Alright, let's keep going. Hey, another Yeti down here. Alright, is she still singing? No, she's not. Oh man, Ziari, you need to step back and let... I think they automatically will attack. Maybe not. <laughs> they, they don't seem like it. Okay, I need to highlight just them. Okay. Keep fighting, man. Whoa! Whoa. That so Yeti gory. exploded. Is there a way to turn the blood off this game? That was one thing I remember, like, back in the 90s. Like, when my brothers and I were real young. I mean, of course, I was probably, like, six or... S no, seven or eight, when we finally got Nintendo 64, and that was during the time, like, Turok Dinosaur Hunter came out. And I remember going to... Like, rental stores, renting games, and, like, if we tried renting a game that looked really gory on the cover and stuff. I remember my mom a couple of times asking the people that worked there if they if you could turn the blood off on the game. Like, well, I mean, that was a big thing back yeah, in the day. I mean, that yeah. was when video games were really taking yeah. off in popularity. A lot of people were concerned about, you know, is this going to be really gory? You know, is yeah. this going to affect kids? Yeah. It turns out, after several studies, they don't. You can't lie to me. <laughs> Violence! <laughs> Joe! <laughs> no! Violence Joe. Video games cause violence. This isn't violent. It's a racing game. It's a racing <laughs> game today, Joe. By tomorrow, you're curb stomping a four-year-old. <laughs> Julian Smith videos. I, I, that's probably my favorite video of his, is the angry video games one. We just want you to chill out. Look at what your anger did now, Joe. Yeah, look at what you did. You ruined my TV. You're the most violent person we know, Joe. So I could quit that whole thing. And then we'll get copyright strike. No. <laughs> If anything, we're promoting them. Like, go check out Julian Smith video, violent video games. Oh wait, he dropped a pelt. There we go. Man, how many friggin' Yetis are in this place? Okay, we're gonna take down this Yeti, and then we're gonna call it an episode there. Oh no, Annika, <laughs> stay back. Here. 
she's on a lot of spells, isn't she? Yes, she is. After those guys. And, yeah. Yeah, Anna K is still singing. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. All right, everybody. We're gonna go. Oh, can't quick save during battle. They're all dead. Anything? There we go. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and tune in for more episodes that we're doing. And also, we have other series on our channel if you're interested in checking those out too. So, have a good one and thank you again.